Today I will introduce to you the game called Round Forest. It takes you to a magical place where the land moves underneath your feet. You get to meet mysterious strangers and find unexpected objects. Are you ready for the adventure? Before you start playing, you need to build the round forest out of the octagonal forest tiles. With three or four players, just like this. But if there is only two of you, please check the rulebook for the precise map. Make sure that the little octagons create roads, the bigger octagons can be turned around, and the rail tiles are at the right spot. Randomly draw one action disc from the black bag to the middle of each forest tile except the wells, then place your chosen pawn to your haversack board. Next to the forest, place the shuffled character cards, the character tokens, the golden apples, the copper thalers, the silver forens and the emerald ring. Draw one object token to each space on the fairy board. You can challenge yourselves by removing from the game each object token showing silver forens. Finally, everyone should receive two compass tokens and let the game begin. The winner of the game is the player who hands three apples to the forest spirit and thus earns the emerald ring. In order to do that, you are not allowed to have that. You can acquire apples from the wells, from mythical characters, or by opening the treasure chest. You take actions following the first player in clockwise order. You can always choose to stay in place and just turn your forest tile 90 degrees without completing any actions. Or explore the forest by stepping onto a reachable tile, then turning it by 90 degrees clockwise. With the help of a compass, you can take one or two steps, either vertically or horizontally. The tile that you left needs to be refilled with an action token unless it shows a well or has an object token or a character token on it. If you land on a tile containing a blue action disc, draw one object tile from the blue bag and either keep it in your haversack, where you can store maximum three objects, or lay it on the tile or buy another object from the fairy board. After the usage of the fairy board, the objects on it get cheaper, then the empty spaces need to be refilled from the blue bag. Everyone can carry only one heavy object. If you pick an object token showing either a copper thaler or a silver foreign, you can take your reward immediately. Then put the token back to the bag. If you land on a forest tile containing a yellow action disc, draw one object tile from the blue bag. However, you are not allowed to keep it, but you need to place it on another forest tile covered with a yellow action disc. If you land on a forest tile containing an object token, you can immediately put it in your haversack or buy another object from the fairy board. If you land on a forest tile containing a red action disc, you encounter a character. In order to find out who you met, you need to draw a character card. There are friendly, hostile and helper characters. The friendly ones would always like to get a heavy item from you and in return they give you a light one. But if you already have that light one in your haversack, then they give you a golden apple as a reward. Hostile characters are willing to leave if you fulfill their wish. <laughs> but if you have the correct light object, they can even be scared away, and in this case, they drop an apple for you. Helper characters give an option to use special actions immediately. Those helpers, friendly and hostile characters that were used should be shuffled back into the character card deck. However, you need to place the unused helpers next to the fairy board and the unused friendly or hostile characters stay in front of the player who met them. If you don't use the character immediately, you need to place their token where you found them. You can only land on a forest tile containing a character token if you can fulfill the friendly or hostile character's wish, perhaps collecting an apple or you want to use the helper's action. After the successful encounter, not only the token goes back to its paw, but also the character card needs to be shuffled back into its deck. If you land on a whale tile, you can use exactly one of its magic powers. You can trade objects to copper thalers, 
copper thalers to silver forens, or silver forens to golden apples. The unpredictability of the forest can be enhanced by blocking forest tiles. You have the option to place one heavy item next to either the tile you leave or the tile you land on. The forest tiles around the heavy object will not be turned as long as the object lies there. If you choose to ignore this option and you find a heavy object lying next to either the tile you leave or the one you land on, you can pick that up and place it in your haversack. Now that you know how to play, all you need is to choose a starting player who will step from their haversack to either of the neighboring forest tiles to start the game. I hope that you and the characters will have fun too. Enjoy the game!